Hey there, I'm Brittany Chavers, and I am back today with Jesse James Speeds to make some things for Christmas in July. We're gonna make some giftable bracelets using chain and beads from Jesse James Beads today. Um, one of the mixes that I'll be using is Gatsby from Color Trends Line, and this awesome, really blingy gold chain. Um, so I'm planning on doing maybe four bracelets today, and two of them are going to be using these supplies. And one will be both of them will be variations of the other so the first one i want to do super super duper simple it's just going to use one really cute bead and the chain from jesse james beads and this is a great beginner project for this project i'm just going to use some 20 gauge german style wider wire from beadalon i'm just going to cut off a piece anywhere from four to five inches long. Probably don't even need that much, but I always cut too much, <laughs> just in case. Better to have more than you need than not enough. And I am just going to make a loop here. Like that. And I am going to open that up a little bit and slide that on to my chain. And then I will just close that up. And wire wrap onto the tail coming out from the loop. I'm gonna hold that loop with my pliers. Just do a couple loops, a couple wraps, and trim your wire. Next, I'm going to slide on my bead and create a wire wrap on this side. So, this really fun, pretty glass bead is going to be our focal and the good thing about this is it can um, stack with just about any other type of bracelet because black goes with everything now you want to make sure that you cut your chain um, the length that you need it I'm gonna cut my chain here and this will allow me to cut it again in the middle for um, my clasp and I will end up cutting it in the middle after I've wire wrapped so I can add my clasp. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side. However, if you'll see this chain is a little bit different, this side of the chain is a little bit different than the side we attached onto in the first place. Now, if you'd like the sides to look the same, which I think I kind of want to do, I'm going to just cut it in half here line it up, cut it in half right here, and make sure that the link I cut is this one, not this one. So the one on the left, not the one on the right, because this is the one I want to attach onto with the other side of my wire. Again, you don't have to do that. This is just if you want both sides of the bracelet to look exactly the same, which I'd like for this bracelet. There we go. We'll take this side of our wire, go through the chain. And close that up by wire wrapping. So I'm going to hold my loop and chain out of the way and come through.
Okay. And then we'll cut that in the back. So we have two pieces of chain and then what you'll do is find that one link and cut that off. This is the one that we kind of destroyed when we cut the links in half. Pull that out of there. And then I am just going to grab, I have a Jesse James Beads grab bag of clasps and I'm going to grab a really simple but elegant um, magnetic clasp. So these are really great for people who maybe can't open regular clasps um, and just need something pretty easy. I'm just going to take two jump rings and attach it that way. And super quickly, we have a really fun, easy bracelet that is perfect for just about anything. You can um, make a necklace that can match it as well. So there is piece one, super fun. All right, the next one will be very similar. However, it's gonna be using a bracelet bar instead of just one brace, one bead. And it's, it has the same um, principle, but it'll have just more beads on it. So we'll just cut a longer piece of wire this time. So I'm gonna choose my beads. And for this bracelet bar, I'm gonna start with um, a wire wrapped loop. We're gonna use a jump ring to attach it to our donut chain for this bracelet. Love all the different chains that Jesse James Beads has. They're so pretty. <laughs> so um, I am going to go ahead and create a loop. Like that. And snip it. Put on this little diamond, a teardrop, a little bead cap. Spacer bead, this really shiny black and rhinestone bead, a rondelle, and then I'll just repeat that going the other way. So now that we have our beads on our wire, we're just gonna make another loop, but I am gonna subtly bend this into the shape, like into an arch, so it'll fit over uh, comfortably on the wrist. I am just going to make a wire wrapped loop here. Spin that towards the back. Snip. 
So we have a cute little um, wire wrapped bracelet bar. And then just like with our other bracelet, I am going to attach to my chain. Now this, this chain has jump rings attaching each link, but there are jump rings in between each link. So I am going to, I'm gonna start with this guy here. I'm gonna remove this link. And open up this jump ring. And slide on one of our loops. Close that back up. And then you'll just need to measure how long you'd like your bracelet to be, just like we did with the last one. It's very much the same um, technique, but we're just changing up the middle. Now I am going to cut in the middle and the back. And for this bracelet, I'm going to use a toggle. Put that on. And there is bracelet number two. Super fun, very elegant. Again, something that you can wear with several metals because you have the silver and the black in there and black goes with just about everything. So there are two bracelets. Next, I'm gonna switch over to the Color Trends Mix um, Peacock and I'm seeing a really fun piece in here. So we're gonna do some chain with some bead stringing wire. Um, and a, a charm, this wonderful, it almost looks like an embroidered charm, really cool. So I'm gonna put this piece here. I like this one with the little, it almost looks like a little window. I love this coin, that's so pretty. All right, I like this layout the best, and I'm gonna grab this sparkle gunmetal chain. Um, it's super pretty. And um, I'm gonna make a double length of the chain for half of the bracelet. So half the bracelet is going to be my beads, and then half is going to be the chain, but we're gonna be using bead stringing wire instead of the German style wire that we were using before. So I have this 19 strand beetle on bead stringing wire. And you'll need a couple crimp beads. And I'm gonna crimp right on to my little antique brass piece here. You'll need a pair of crimping pliers, and you can flat crimp this, or you can folded crimp, which I'll show you. So making sure that our wires are not crossed, 
moving that down so there's a little bit of give or wiggle room there again making sure those wires aren't crossed we're going to settle that bead right in that largest valley of our crimping pliers and squish and then we're going to turn that sideways squish again and move it up the jaws of our pliers now I'm going to trim this wire off of my spool and string on my bead, starting with the coin. put in some spacers here. Okay, and then we'll slide on our crimp bead. Then I'm going to come over to my chain and measure how much I need. So I need about this much to make it my br bracelet finished. And then I'm going to double that. So I'm going to keep this jump ring right there. And then just come down. And I'm going to trim this jump ring right here. So now this piece I'm going to keep folded over and you can come through with your wire through these two pieces, but I'm going to make it a little easier on myself. Find that, uh, that middle jump ring right here and come through that. So I've already put on my crimping plat or my crimp bead, come through my jump ring here let that go and then come back through my crimp bead and a couple of these beads just to get some tension or even just one bead's fine and then I will crimp now you're not really going to need a whole lot of give on this part of the bracelet because you have so much give on this part of the bracelet. This is the part that's going to form to your wrist and this will, this just doesn't need to be as loose as we would normally make it. If you want it to be loose, that's totally fine. All right. So we want to make sure our wires are not crossed. If we can pull that. I'm going to flat crimp this one because it's going to be really hard to get in there with the um, this part of our bead without trying to damage um, our check glass bead there. So then I'm going to trim here. And then we have part of our bracelet complete. I am going to get a toggle an antique brass, you can do gunmetal, you can do silver, you can do gold, whatever works for you. A couple of jump rings. slip both of these pieces of chain on to our jump ring here. 
just like that. And you have a double chain strand bracelet. Super cute. I'm loving that piece. And every part of this bracelet is the focal. So you can wear the chain on the top of your wrist. You can wear this beautiful piece on the top of your wrist or any of these gorgeous beads. So there is bracelet number three. super pretty and then we'll do one more we're gonna do a, um, a charm bracelet using some chain and I have this really nice matte chain we're just gonna create several charms using um, the beads uh, from this mix so I'm gonna use two both of these I'm gonna use both of these All four of these and then four of at least four of these rondelles and you're just gonna need some head pins you can either wire wrap these or just do simple loops I'm gonna do simple loops because this is an easier project for um, gift giving and I'm just gonna put a head pin through my bead I bend these over snip and then curl back. So now we have a cute little charm. I'm gonna do that with all these beads. All right, so I've finished my charms. I added some little um, spacer beads to the bottom of this one because the holes of these beads were a little too large for the head pins I had and the head pins would go right through. But to stop that, you can put a smaller bead on the end or a spacer bead. I did end up making one of these that was the last one left. And I am also going to use these uh, the same clasp that we used on the second bracelet. So I've cut my chain to the length I need and I'm just going to lay that out here. And actually I'm going to find the middle and a really easy way to find the middle without like measuring is taking a head pen or a piece of wire and slipping on both ends of your chain. Now I know exactly where the middle of this chain is. So I know this link is the middle. I am just going to lay this out like that really quickly. Take my focal bead or the middle of the bracelet bead. I don't know that it's just gonna be a focal. Open that up, swing that open and slide that right onto my chain. Now with this style of bracelet, you can just slide the charms on directly or you can use a jump ring, open up the jump ring, slide the charm and the chain on. So that's the only one I wanted, like specifically right in the middle of the bracelet. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this out and kind of just decide where the rest of these need to go. And I am not going to count links. I'm not going to um, make sure that they're, it's completely symmetrical because once it gets on my wrist, it's not really gonna matter, but I just kind of want the same colors and the same spots on the bracelet. These are so much fun. And just lay out however you like it. Okay. And then we're just going to attach each bead in the place that we'd want to attach it. So the green. and go from there. Make sure, see I didn't close this very well, that's gonna eventually slide off. Might not be today, might not be next week, but it will. you will lose a charm if you don't make sure that those are closed. And you can just overlap them a little bit if you'd like. I'm gonna go up the rest of the bracelet and add the rest of my charms. All of the charms are attached to the chain and this just looks so fun and it makes such a fun noise when you jingle those beads around. And then um, I'm just going to take two jump rings to attach my clasp. So open up your jump ring, bind the end of your chain. And repeat.
repeat on the other side. And you can add as many or as few charms as you'd like, and there you go. Easy peasy, and you have a custom charm bracelet for yourself or to give for Christmas in July. Isn't that pretty? So cute. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the four giftable bracelets I made today. I'll go through them. I'll make sure that I post some photos. Thanks for watching. Thank you to Jesse James Beats for having me back, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.